Alright, so today I'm going to be doing a spawn room challenge on every single Call of Duty Zombies game. There's 10 Call of Duties in total that have a Zombies mode, and I'm basically just going to be picking a random map from that specific game and seeing how high of a round I can get to in the spawn room. And the order that I'll be going in is a very subjective order. I'm going to be going from worst to best in terms of games themselves. So basically, this is both a challenge video and a rankings video all in one. Uh, starting with XO zombies which is in my opinion oh my god my sensitivity anyways we're starting with exo zombies because this in my opinion is the worst the single worst zombies game mode ever made even worse than you know call call of duty vanguard has got absolutely shit on recently um for being the worst no this is the worst dude i am i'm not the biggest fan of it also i'm not gonna be buying quick revive on any map and also later on games that that kind of revives you automatically like black ops 4 basically if i go down once that's the end of the challenge okay so what wall guns do we have we have the mk14 which is basically like the m14 of this game like a decent assault rifle then you got the bulldog which is like a shotgun a shotgun with very very little ammo four bullets and a clip it's like a dna bomb it's not like i need points for anything yeah so this is going to be like one recording and however far i get i don't care if i go down on round one that's 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 it for that uh map i'm moving on to the next game basically also by the way i picked ascent because easily my favorite map from this game and if i was gonna play exo zombies i was at least gonna pick my favorite map you know open fire and explosive touch at the same time this is op as hell you can't touch me oh it's a dog round it's funny because a lot of the fun of exo zombies is obviously in the exo suit itself like it's the only thing that makes the game mode bearable and obviously since this is a spawn room challenge oh shoot i can't even have an exo suit <laughs> so this is like the worst of both worlds like goddamn. it's also the spawn room on this map isn't particularly cool like it just oh dude this is just, this is just bad this is just bad i have a little goal uh, not an official goal not like an official oh Okay, rocket turret. Don't mind if I do. I have an unofficial goal of hitting round 10 on each map. I'm dead. Oh my god, I thought I was dead. Unofficial goal of hitting round 10 on each map. I don't know if this is gonna happen. Oh shoot. Honestly, spawn room challenges seem hard on this game. Oh my god. Another thing about Exo Zombies is it has those like toxic rounds where if you get touched, you have to go decontaminate yourself in like a random place. How does that work if you don't open any doors? Am I just like screwed? Just like automatic death. I don't know. Oh, am I getting get teleported? Oh, I got teleported. What? Don't worry, I'll get teleported back. Um, oh, and we're back, boys. Oh God. Oh God. This is it. Oh, dude. This is not fun. This is not easy. Zombies sometimes like randomly like jump, like they jetpack at you. Like some specific zombies. Maybe I should use this turret. Wait, how does this terror work? Oh! Oh, don't touch me! How does this terror work? Place it. Yeah, turret! Do your little thing! Do your little thing! Give me the bomb, give me the bomb! Yes. This ter this turret's a little cutie patootie, isn't it? Wait, can I pick it up? Oh, yeah. What? You could use the rocket turret? What? <laughs> you could pick it up and use it. Dude, I'm gonna kill myself with this. Oh shoot, I don't know if it does damage to me. What the hell? <laughs> I didn't know you could do this. This is so weird. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. Oh my. This is actually really cool. Don't worry, I got explosive touch. They can't touch me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you thought. You thought you could jump on me. Cool. Explosive touch is so good. That should be a tray arc drop. Why is it not? Genuinely so cool. If zombies touch you, they just insta die. Oh, it's, see, it's a toxic round. It's a toxic round. No way. So I'm just going to insta-die. No, I got touched. Dude, this game doesn't let you do spawn room challenges. Oh, that's so lame. Oh, this is... I'm out of ammo. See, I have to go all the way over there to un uninfect myself. This is literally just how I die. Well, looks like we got round eight on that. Next game is World War II. Now, I know what you're thinking. How is World War II worse than, uh... Dude, what? My keyboard's spazzing out. I'm walking in directions that I'm not trying to walk in. How is World War II worse than Vanguard? I don't know. It just is, okay? Like, I'd literally much rather play Vanguard zombies than this. Call me crazy, but I just would. 
uh, this final Reich, the map that I'm on right now, isn't actually bad in comparison to the rest of the game, though. I, I will give it this. It's, uh, it it's not too terrible. This game also feels really smooth to play on PC, so I don't absolutely hate it, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm just saying, I think I prefer pretty much every other game than over this. I picked the final Reich to play for this video, mainly because, like I said, it's, uh, it's easily the best map on this game, but... The spawn room on this map is very, very small. And I think I've made this really hard on myself by choosing this map. Okay, what guns do we have? We have a shotgun and that's it. Like an Olympia looking ass shotgun. Oh, dude. I, I do not see myself getting round 10 on this shit. Oh, oh, we also have a machine pistol, which is going to be slightly better. Let's do this. Quick revive is in the spawn room. But like I said, I'm not going to be buying quick revive for any of these maps. I want to raw dog it. You know, one down and you're out. You know, no more, no more fooling around. We're all about raw dogging it over here. Is this shotgun good? Oh no, it's round three and it's... Oh, dude. I think I gotta like... Yeah, if, if I directly headshot a one shot, but if I'm even a little bit loosey-goosey about it like this... Oh, it's still one shot. It's still one shot loosey-goosey. Nice. Um, I don't know if like special zombies spawn in here or how the spawn rooms work on this shit. Oh god. I know as soon as like any other zombie type spawns, I'm just bound to instantly die. Although, honestly, on regular zombie rounds, this isn't too bad. It's the one thing I've learned about World War II is it's actually really easy on the early rounds. Oh, what did I just pick up? I don't know what that was. I don't know. Oh, it's a it's a it's a fly round. A buggy bug round. Oh shit. Shit. Oh shit. You want me to pop my specialist? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I probably didn't even need to do that. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Why did those bats just attack me? What the hell is happening? Wait, why don't I have to reload? I don't know what's happened. Oh, my free fire is still active. Wait, when you use your specialist in this game, it pauses for you between rounds. What the hell? I didn't know all that. That's cool. That, that's actually really cool. It, like gives you a second to... Oh shit. Oh no, 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 no! Dude, the zombies dropped from above! We only got round six. Let's do this class. Okay, so we're on Call of Duty Vanguard, which in my opinion is the third worst zombies game. I like how it feels, what can I say? I don't think it's the very, very worst as much as it gets shit on. Am I saying that it's worth the $60 that this game costs? absolutely not like 100 no but if this game was free would i recommend you download it yes 100 it is worth playing if it was free to play you know what i mean obviously it's not so we can't judge it on that merit it's definitely not worth the money that it costs it, it, it's pretty it's pretty all right it's pretty it's pretty all right i never did a spawn room challenge on this obviously this is the only round based map in the game at least at the time of recording so that's why i'm on chino numa it's the only map that we could actually do a spawn room challenge on what do we have on the wall svt what's the other wall gun again uh g43 i mean i guess i might as well oh yeah wait spawn room challenges on this game since the guns upgrade themselves you can actually uh you can have like pack a punch guns in the spawn room wait this is actually really cool wait spawn room challenges on this game might actually be pretty fun if there was more maps but you know obviously this is all we got right now i should be able to get to a decently high round obviously vanguard is a game that you know you spawn with a self-revive but if i go down once that's the end of it at what rounds of the wall guns become upgraded that is the question at hand here dude I, I like the feel of this gun dude that's the thing like vanguard the guns in this game are so fun to use it's like it's literally like i know that's a dumb reason it doesn't make the zombies game good no but it, it adds a lot whenever you actually enjoy using the weapons in a game all i'm saying is if 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 vanguard had six seven maps in total by the end of it like round based maps that are on the same level as this map as shinonuma i would really really like vanguard zombies that that is that is what i'm saying and it would be 100 percent be worth the 60 bucks all right it's a boom boom round which kind of scares me i don't want to fight boom booms in a tight corridor here boom boom pow big dude when do you think this happens probably like round 10 dude zombies spawn in so slowly on the early rounds of this uh of this map it's kind of nice for this challenge it's making it nice and easy but yeah i don't know i guess i could have always turned on the rampage inducer honestly hot take i feel like the rampage inducer works better on vanguard than it did in cold war like it it, it, wor it works better on like a, a map like this that might be a hot take oh shit okay 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 no 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 let's 
get this SMG back out. Oh, I just realized this gun is upgradable or upgraded. Is the other one? I don't want to use the, the trashy trash one. All right, let's trade this in. There we go. We got a pack-a-punch gun now. Oh, no, this one <laughs> became upgraded. All right, whatever. Two pack-a-punch guns. Oh, but now we got smoke. The downside of upgrading your guns in this game is you can't see what the hell you're shooting at because of the dumbass smirk. I absolutely hate Dude, look at this. This is like a joke. This is like, this is a parody. Vanguard Zombies is a parody of itself. Oh, ow. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, one HP. One HP in a dream. One HP in a dream. We're good. I set the goal for round 10 on each game earlier. So far, I haven't got round 10 yet. Oh, you can bayonet charge with this. Oh my, I didn't know this is a thing. Wait, I want to bayonet charge a zombie. Look how, wait, this is going to look so cool. Oh! <laughs> Why did I assume that it one shot it? I'm dead. Oh my god. That's hysterical. Why did I assume that it was worth doing? You know, I should probably be picking up like these little like stims and shit. One thing I've kind of been ignoring. Do Molotov? Yes. We love to see. Oh no, 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 no. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm alive. I'm thriving. I casually go for a high round accidentally in the spawn room. Let's go. We got round 10. You know, this gun one shot to the head. Like this one over here, I forget what it. I forget what I forget what it is. Like SVT or some shit. This gun's actually pretty nice. I could just like chill in the corner, pop. As long as, as long as I'm hitting the head, headshots. Oh, armor. Yes. This other gun's a little bit more forgiving. The Gewehr. I'm dead. No, dude. I tried to press X for my ether shroud. Okay, I got round ten at least. All right, moving on to the fourth worst zombies game, or I guess you know we we can start looking at it in a positive way. The seventh best zombies game, World of War, which. It's a fine game. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, in my opinion, I really, really love every game and like every game that's above it on the list. You know what I mean? It's like, it's perfect. It is what it is. It's very simple. It's obviously the first zombies game ever made. And, oh, I didn't mean a knife. And it's just, uh, it's just very basic and, 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 and fine. It's fine for what it is. Is it worth buying in 2022? Yes, absolutely. Uh, every game from World of War up in this video is going to be worth playing and worth buying in my mind you could also get it for free on pc using plutonium which i would highly recommend if you happen to have a pc it doesn't take up that much space 100 percent worth it's definitely worth it then also i decided to play verruckt for this video because i don't know i just like it the verruckt spawn room challenge if you didn't know it, it's the hardest spawn room challenge in zombies history and i don't think you'll find too many people that di that'll disagree with it it has the lowest high round world record and specifically this side as well the quick revive side of Iraq is especially hard so i don't see myself getting to round 10 right now like i genuinely don't i think the world record is like 22 or some shit it's actually insanely low i don't even it might not even be that high i don't have very high hopes for myself why are no zombies oh they never mind i jinxed it i was just about to say no zombies are coming in from that window but literally mid sentence, I see, I see my boy pulling up in the in the barricade. It's not fun. It's not fun. Oh, insta kill. Yes. Oh shoot. I got an insta kill at the end of the round. Boys, we made it to round four. I call that a success. Massive W. Honestly, massive W. All I could ever hope in the world is to get to round four on the Verux spawner. I think grenades are kind of like your best friend on this. It's about the best source of damage but need to not make too many crawlers if I can prevent it. Oh God, oh God. Oh God, I'm out of ammo, give me. Rebuilding barriers is also gonna be pretty useful. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Just chill. Dude, I, I, I'm being extra quiet right now. I can feel myself like being stupidly focused. It's actually really funny. Usually in videos, I'm trying to like talk while I'm doing shit. No, right now I'm locked in. Oh god, okay, zombies are gonna start coming in. Once zombies get in the room, that's when you that's when you know it's gonna get hard. Oh no. Dude, ammo. Last thing we wanna do is run out and not be able to buy it. Okay, zombies are in here. Oh no, zombies are coming in. Oh bring him around town. Bring him around town. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Muke. Let's just grab it. Let's just grab it. Yes. Round six, boys. Power will reunite you. Well, how am I supposed to get the power open if I can't open up a door? Like, do you even think? Chalk on the wall. Dummy dumb. I think this is it. You know what? No, no. There, there, there's a way to... There has to be a strategy of training the zombies once they come in. Like, a really, like, optimal way to do this. I just don't know what that is. I've never watched anybody actually get to a high round doing this. Oh! Let's go back here. Let's go back here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Dude. Okay, okay. I'm... What am I stuck on? Oh. Oh. Oh, me, oh, my. Oh, me, oh, my. Oh, me, oh, my. Oh, shoot. I'm through. Ammo. Get in this corner. Yes. This is chill. This is chill. This is so chill. This is the chillest experience I've ever had. New video title. Chill Zombies Experience. Okay. No, 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 no. Dude, this... I'm dead. Okay, dude. Oh! so hard all right i might make some people mad with this next one but the sixth best zombies game it's black ops cold war uh yeah i've never tried to do a spawn room challenge on cold war i'll be completely honest i don't really know how this is even gonna go i feel like malware would be a fun map to do it on though d machine would be way too easy forsaken is a little you know it's 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 an entirely different thing than a spawn room challenge it doesn't fit the pacing of this i don't know what i'm trying to say and then uh firebase z would also be pretty easy so anyways i'm on malware Let's see what do we have we have a, a crafting bench we have tombstone which obviously we can't get uh there's not much to work with here in the spawn room in this map now is there yeah cold war it's a good game i I'm, I'm not the biggest cold war hater in the world but i'm also not the biggest cold war lover just middle of the pack zombies game you know literally number six on the list out of ten you i mean you gotta figure that's that's pretty average if you think about it and like i said everything on this list from number seven up are all games that i enjoy playing games that i recommend but you know i just uh just prefer some other games over oh what the hell what are you doing they were just standing in front of me while i was like trying to sprint what an asshole uh i feel like this is gonna start getting hard when we get like krasny sold ads and shit which obviously the krasny spawns on round 10 on this map so i feel like this is gonna be one of the easier maps to get to round 10 on or easier games to get to round 10 on but after that it's anyone's it's anybody's ball game okay i have nothing else to spend salvage on other than do i use stims Let's do stims. Maybe I should save my salvage up for some sort of weapon to be able to take out like Krasny Soldats and uh, other mini bosses with. That probably would be relatively smart. Oh, yeah, wait. I could use this Diamati. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. I, I guess it's kind of like the, you know, same thing as Vanguard in the sense that I can get a better wall gun the higher round I go. I mean, it, it is still like a shitty. A shitty pistol at the end of the day no matter if it's epic or common it's still a shitty three round burst pistol no amount of rarity is going to change that oh god finally got armor that's what we wanted literally the only thing i was like craving this entire time i don't know why i worded like that that was weird i apologize for my decision oh i love double points all the things that i can spend points on in this one room oh yeah you know i think cold war is probably the easiest game to do spawn room challenges on just be honest <laughs> that in bo4 is gonna be a walk in the park look at this just like you just got this giant open space and honestly mauer has like the smallest spawn room still a giant space oh shit dude look at my hp like every time i think i'm like taking a bunch of hits i look at my hp and i'm like full hp dude i actually could unironically get to like any round i wanted to okay, maybe not but i can get to a pretty high round i feel I'm, yo, I'm gonna grab a hand cannon watch this this is gonna be crazy i'm gonna pop him i'm gonna pop him right in the kisser bop bop yeah that dude had no chance dude thought he can come in here and get on my territory and invade my people no okay round 11 we have disciples starting to spawn which means my guns are gonna start doing less damage oh shit stop sucking me dude nobody wants you i'm dead oh ether shroud 2 hp we love field upgrades oh god 
Oh god, zombies are sprinting now. Okay, let's grab a... Grab a death machine. I'm having an inner debate in my head whether the blue Diamati is actually better than the common Gallo. Honestly, the Gallo is probably better. At least right now. I don't know about... Oh god. I don't know about once I get the Diamati upgraded a little bit more. Oh, there goes my armor. No, 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 no. There's no way for me to get that back either. I'm gonna chill up here. I'm trying to save my death machine for when like boss zombies spawn. I feel like that's pretty smart. Nuke? Yes, sir. Give me. Give me this shit. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm so screwed. Eat their shroud! Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. I accidentally swap weapons and you can't either shroud while you're swapping weapons and I almost died for it. And oh no 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 no. Oh shoot. Death machine. This is it. No. Round 13 wasn't bad. I choked dude. I choked that really hard. Moving on to the top five zombie games of all time. And number five, it's Infinite Warfare. I love this zombies game. Holy shit, dude. I, I really didn't get super into it during its life cycle, but recently I've been playing it a lot and I've been really enjoying it. Honestly, like running through the Easter eggs, but even not, not, but not just Easter eggs, like the maps themselves are all just like mostly really cool. At least three out of the five are really cool. I haven't played a ton of the last two maps, but, but the first three maps in this game, dude, I really, really, really enjoy them. Highly, highly recommend if you've never played Infinite Warfare. 100% it's worth giving it a shot. Let's grab the M1 for this spawn room challenge. Also, I picked zombies in Spaceland because I was thinking like Rave spawn room isn't that interesting. Shallon Shuffle spawn room isn't that interesting attack of the radioactive thing is all black and white and i'm not trying to play in black and white throughout this entire thing and then beast from beyond you got alien so the spot like spawn rooms on this game are all weird so it pretty much left me with zombies in space land which i'm fine with because it's probably the best map on this game so everything worked out in the wash okay there's no way for me to get more ammo in my pistol so that's why we gotta rely on oh, wait what is this oh is it an oni i'm guessing or oh hellstorm let's do this Kinda never noticed that there's another spawn room weapon. I'm so used to just only buying the M1 and just kind of ignoring everything else. Um, dude, the spawn room challenge in this map is not gonna be easy, is it? This is not gonna be a Cold War type experience. This is gonna be it's gonna be difficult. Okay, so the two fade and fortune cards that could help me are one eagle-eyed, which makes it so that all shots you hit with a sniper are headshots, which obviously this M1 counts as a sniper. And then I also have another one that gives me a sniper, which I guess could be slightly useful. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably not going to be that useful for this. So we're shit out of luck. I don't know what bio spikes are. What are bio? Oh, never mind. Oh, shoot. I did not think it did that much explosive damage. Imagine if that was just how I had to end this. Okay, it's a clown round. Clowns in this tight area. Not going to be fun. Oh, dude, they spawn on me. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Get away. Nobody wants to deal with you. You're ugly. Nobody loves you. Your mom doesn't love you. Go away. Honestly, dude, this Hellstorm is kind of surprisingly good. Oh, for round seven. I'm kind of preferring it over the M1 for this specific challenge just because it gives me a lot more mobility. Grab the nuke. Yes, sir. Let me put my little sunglasses on. Look how cool I look. Do I look snazzy? What round does the boss zombie spawn? That is the round I need to watch out. That's the round where I'm guaranteed to die if I don't die before that. Shit. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Huh. Oh my God. We're good, we're good, we're good. Come on. Give me to at least round 10, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna pop it. Okay, let's put, throw on eagle eyed. Pop this. Sniper rifle is always critical. Yes, sir. Easy, easy gamer moment. Look at this. Oh my, that's so good. Literally so good. Hopefully this uh, little gobble gum here is gonna carry me through the end of the round. Wait, if you line them up, I think you get more, like less usage out of it if you go for collaterals. I think that's probably smart. I don't think it's time based or is it? I have no idea how this gobble gum works. Oh, oh I'm dead. Oh no, 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 no. I'm over here. We're good, we're good, we're good. I'm chill. This is chill vibes. This is chill vibes. Okay, there we go. Round 10. I'm, why am I doing this to myself? Why am I dumb? I'm making this so much harder than it should be. Plasma grenades. Dude, I'm looking for gas grenades. Gas grenades can carry me to the promised land. And that's where I'm trying to go right now. Okay, my gobble gum's done. Which means I'm effectively screwed. Now we're chilling. We're chilling. Big chilling. Round 11. Irish luck, which spawns kill all nearby zombies when you are what? 
When you're what? Uh, I'm screwed. GG. GG, GG. Good game. Go next. Dude, dude, what's the strategy? What are people that go for high rounds on this map? What what do you even do? Oh my god, I'm alive. Oh! This is it. Okay, dude. How? How do you deal with him? Round 11 ain't bad. Moving on to the fourth best zombies game ever made. It's Black Ops 4. This is one of my personal favorites. Uh, I know this is controversial that I have Black Ops 4 so high, but I don't care. All right, let's do, uh, let's do these challenges to try to get an upgraded strife from here. Because if you do enough challenges, you get an upgraded strife. Anyways, uh, it's no secret. I'm a Black Ops 4 fan. I think it's a little bit overhated. It has some unbelievably fascinating zombie maps that, you know, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's just really good. It has some very cool Easter eggs as well. Come here, zombie. Speed it up. Okay. Need one more equipment kill. Unfortunate. Uh, I decided to play the nine spawn room simply because these challenges. I, th I think the nine spawn room is actually a really, really cool starting room challenge. For the rest of this game, I would say doing challenges like this is not the best way to play the game. It's not the most fun way to play. But on nine, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Just wish I... Okay, there we go. Do that. Do this. this is going to give me an extra life, which doesn't matter. Five consecutive headshot kills. Okay. I think you only have to do two or three challenges before you get a pack of punch pistols. So this isn't going to take too, too long. Just got to pop him in the head. Hopefully I don't miss. Huh. Pop him right in the kisser. Okay. There. There's three. There's four. Let's not choke at the end. Die out. There we go. Oh boy, points. I love points. Slide under. Oh. Well, that's going to change everything, dude. The fact that I have to slide under a blade trap. Dude, that's really bad RNG. Well, looks like I'm not doing any more challenges. <laughs> looks like I got to do it the old fashioned way with, with a shitty starting pistol. Well, the, things just got way harder than I thought they would be. Kind of forgot that there are challenges in this game that make you leave the spawn room. Whoops. Uh, I guess I could always buy an SX. Yeah, I love the SX. <laughs> the SX is just about as good as a upgraded gun. Yeah. I mean, it is one shotting on round five, so there's that. I guess that's better than nothing, but we get to like, we got a few more rounds up and this shit's going to be completely useless. Honestly, the strife is just better. Let's just use it. Strife is like a, a shoot knife one shot right now. Hit the zombies with the wombo. Ba -ba. Either way, even without the upgraded gun, I think Black Ops 4 has some of the easier spawn room challenges in zombies. This area is very, very wide open. Of course, you know, some of it just turns to fire randomly, but it is definitely wide open. As well as you obviously have like specialists. Oh, we got tigers spawning in now. Tigers are going to be the death of me. Tigers, and then we got gladiators and shit later. It's going to make this very, very hard. Oh, shit. I heard something. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Someone threw an axe at me. I heard it. I heard that shit loud and clear. There he is. Okay, I'm going to pull this out. Okay. Oh, shit. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Yeah. Oh, don't touch me. You're not like being touched. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're chill. We're chill. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Oh, it's a special round. Kind of wish I would have saved my special. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot. It's just tigers at first. For some reason, I was thinking there was going to be gladiators and shit, but that's not till later. Not till later. Yeah, easy clip. And we got fire. Dealing with this fire? Probably going to be the reason I go down. G gonna be the worst part of all of this. Especially once boss zombies. Oh my god, I'm dead. Throw that. Oh my god, I'm one shot. I'm dead. Yeah, that wasn't that good. Only round 10. Moving on to the third best zombies game of all time. It's Black Ops 1. It's the classic. Pretty much the classic zombies experience. Um, they took what, what we had in World of War, polished it up, made it actually bearable. There's a lot less glitches in this game. It's just, I don't know, it just feels a lot better. Also, we got some pretty cool maps as well. I'm, today I'm playing 5, which isn't one of my favorite maps ever made, but I thought it would be really fun to do the spawn room challenge on it. So that's why I'm here. I grabbed an M14 off the wall, but I don't want to isolate the Olympia gang. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab this as well. We're inclusive here. This is an inclusive YouTube channel. We, uh, we got a little bit for everybody, no matter which gang you're affiliated with. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to, uh, 
I'm not looking forward to later rounds on this. Like, like once we get to like round six or seven, this shit's about to be hard as hell. Like there's not a lot of space to work with in the spawn room on five. And a lot of it is just, you know, tables and chairs anyways. Not a ton of playable area whatsoever. Okay, dude, the zombies are already like coming in really quickly. And it's only round three. I do not have high hopes for myself in the future. If I get to round 10 here, I'd be shocked. I would be proud of myself if I could reach reach double digits. It sucks because I, I can't even use the traps, obviously, because you got to build them and the power's not on. That would make this a little bit a little bit easier, I think. Though maybe not. I don't know. All right. Enough of the Olympia nonsense. I'm showing my true colors. I'm going to be using the M14 more often. It's a little bit more reliable. I don't got to reload it every half a second. Although it's not that great of a weapon either, if we're being honest. Oh, oh, dude, this is this is not it. The round five, round five is is gonna be the round that it's gonna be the toughest to get through. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in the mood for this. Oh boy, the Olympia, it's so good. Can't even one shot. Oh, never mind. I took out three zombies. There. Oh, this is it. This is it. Oh no no no. Oh. Oh, uh, there's, I'm not that clutch. There's no way. I'm not that good. Oh my god. Insta kill. Holy shit. That was one of the most insane clutches I've ever had in my life. Oh my god. I'm the world's greatest gamer. Okay, I'm gonna try to grab this nuke last second here. Get like halfway through this round maybe. Grab it. Dude, if I can reach round seven on this, I'll take it. That's better than I thought I would get to. Zombies are flying it. Oh! Oh, <laughs> that dude was just like standing behind me, just watching me. What a creep. What a creep wad. Oh no. This is so screwed. I'm so screwed. This is so screwed. Everything is screwed. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, shoot. Die. Please. Let's just, let's just train him up. Let's just train him up. I don't need to kill anything. Nope. Oh my god. No shot. Is that in the round? Please? Oh my god, I made it to round seven. Battle of Palalulu. Wow, what a cool battle. All right, I'm gonna need a miracle. I'm gonna need a miracle to get to round eight. Like, I'm gonna have to get an insta-kill like right now or something along those lines. That's the only way this is doable. I just need to rely on training a little bit. Except training in this area without jug. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm dead. I'm, never mind, we're good. We're chill. We're not chill. I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm not alive. <laughs> Round seven. I'll take that. I, I'm proud of that. <laughs> and Black Ops 2. The second best zombies game. Oh my. Okay. Also, I decided to play a little mob because it's, uh, I don't know. It's just a good spawn room challenge to go for, I feel. Uh, I don't like this FOB. Okay. Uh, what guns do we have in the spawn room? I'm guaranteed an Olympia. Why did I bother asking? Don't worry. I could always get double points. Yeah, this is not going to be an easy map to go for a spawn room on. Oh, no. Like, nothing about this is good. I love me some mob of the dead. Don't get me wrong. But spawn room challenges? Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Black Ops 2 is my second favorite zombies game of all time. Just has, what, three of the greatest maps of all time. Like, oh shoot, this is already, already, already annoyingly tough. Buried, Mob of the Dead, obviously, and Origins, some of the greatest maps ever made. Sure, it also had maps like Transit and Die Rise, which are straight duds and hated by pretty much everybody, but it had just too much going for it towards the end of it to not absolutely love this game. I've always felt like Mob was the introduction to modern zombies. Like a big old map with a huge quest to try to accomplish a shit ton of different weapons to unlock and not just get from the box, like the Blender Gat, the Retriever, Golden Sport. I love this map so much. Let's just, let's lean on the M14. And on top of that, it's just, you know, it's Alcatraz prison. I mean, come on. It just has so much personality inside of it. Mob is one of those maps where you can go down on and be let's fine, but obviously I'm not gonna let that happen. If I go down, that's it. And I'm not going down. I'm, I'm hitting at least round 20. I feel confident about this one. I'm a round 20 Mob of the Dead spawn room gamer. You just wait and see. If you're a non-believer, you just wait and see. I'll show you all how good I am. Wait, do wardens spawn in here? They do, don't they? Oh, that's gonna be rough. 
That's gotta be rough as hell. Obviously, these older games are games where you have two hits. If you get hit twice, you're just done for it. Which is a big reason why that five spawn room challenge was so hard. This is not gonna be any different in that sense. Oh my god, I'm so scared zombies are gonna come through that door. Die. Yes. Oh, dude. I'm dead. Get me out of here. Get me out of this room. We're good, we're good, we're good, we did it. There we go, round five. What round do Warden spawn? Six? So for some reason, six is in my head. Don't know if that's right or not. Maybe not, maybe it's not till way later. Dude, my FOV feels so weird right now. I'm like extra zoomed out and I hate it. Kind of throwing off my mojo. Oh, this is it. The spawn room is just so narrow. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh! I'm not dead. I'm thriving. I'm thriving. I am thriving. Oh, I'm thriving so hard right now. You wish you were thriving as much as me. I'm dead. Oh, oh, there's zombies in here. Zombies. Oh, there is. Oh, no. Let's bring him around. Bring him around. Nuke. I need to get this. Yes. Thank you. Round six, boys. Round six has been like the money number uh, during this challenge. It seems to be the round where the games get suddenly way more difficult. It's when you actually get a decent amount of, I'm dead. Oh my. Oh my, I'm dead. What is happening? What is happening right now? What world is this? I'm dead. Round six, like I said, and the best zombies game of all time. Black Ops 3, of course. And I'm on my favorite zombies map of all time as well. Run Shadows. Okay, uh, you know, honestly, it feels weird playing like a smooth zombies game again after playing those older games back to back. So yeah, I don't know. It feels good, but it also feels weird to randomly do it. Uh, Shadows has notoriously a difficult, difficult spawn room challenge um, because obviously you don't have very much space, but also uh, Margulis starts spawning, bugs spawn in here, meatballs spawn in here. It's just, it just becomes like a shit show very quickly. Uh, the one good thing is you do have this one little plant over here that, that could give you something decent. This pod could give you like a, a, a good assault rifle or something along those lines, but you have to wait until it's at least like the middle tier. I think the highest I've ever gotten, like I've done this spawn room challenge a bunch because I, I love playing shadows, but I think the highest I've ever gotten is like around like 12 or some shit. It is very, very tough. Also, there is a Shiva on the wall here that I guess is worth getting. For some reason, I don't have any attachments on it. It's gonna make this ugly, 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 but I guess I can live. I guess I can live with whenever I ADS, having to look through 17 different circles to be able to see the zombies. All right, so I think we've learned today that round six is the, the magic round for spawn room challenges. It's the round that uh, shit goes from zero to 100 very, very quickly. Like right now, zombies just kind of just chilling. Just walking in at a snail's pace. Honestly, why am I using the Shiva when I could just be using this RK5? Yeah, so I just need to be careful for round six. By be careful, I mean, I don't, I don't know what that means. I'm pretty much screwed either way. It's not like I can get set up or something before that. We are a hopeless case. I'm trying to, oh, I didn't, ah, oh, dude. I was trying to save the nuke for next round, but then there was more, oh, dude, I did not mean to get that insta kill. Scared. Okay, we got a red pod. I don't know if it's smarter to wait for it to turn pink. But, oh, really? I mean, I guess. I guess it's not that bad. Probably better than a Shiva. Also, I've been talking about round six this whole time, and then round six, it just gives me a bug round. It's not going to be challenging. Even without Jug, I don't think anybody's going down on a bug round. Fresh produce, grown and packaged local farm fresh. Wow, we're doing local shit? No outsourcing? Hell yeah. This is my map. This is the map. This is going to be the highest I get to. I think the highest round I've got to so far was 13 on cold ore i want to be 13 i want to be 13 and i'm gonna have to kill a couple margwas to do it but it can be done margwa margiwa let's do this i'm gonna take out his head right away okay there's one i can do this i can do this i can do this there's no pressure i i, I have no i better find some ammo oh, oh my i'm done Okay, that was that was rough. That was really rough. But that was it. That was an interesting video. Thank you guys for watching.